Hello everybody, this is the Sun of Morning and welcome to a little bit of a different video. I am going to be doing sort of a first look at Incursion Red River, which is obviously the game in front of you. This isn't Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, but <laughs> it's going to be uh, live, right? I'm not going to do the normal voiceover that I usually have been doing. Uh, please don't worry, the achievement videos and platinum stuff is still ongoing. Um, it's just I'm working on two games of which take a long time, one of them being Assassin's Creed Valhalla um, and the other one being actually Horizon Zero Dawn, although we're nearly done with that video. Uh, as well, Constantine's Adventure, that's still happening. Those usually take me between two to three weeks to make, depending on my real life schedule, but that's neither here nor there. You're here to learn about Incursion Red River. So what is this game? First off, it came out April 10th of this year, 2024, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, I picked it up uh, about the same day, played it a little bit, really enjoyed it. And then I played a little bit with X-Pilot uh, because this game is multiplayer, but it is not PvP, which I love. So actually, what is Incursion Red River? At its core, it is a single player Tarkov. Um, that That's about it. Um, Think Tarkov, think Extraction Looter Shooter, and that's what this game is. So let's sort of talk about everything you're seeing right now. So please also keep in mind, this is hardcore early access. I mean, as I said, it came out April 10th, but let's talk about what, you, what we have first. Let's first look at the stash. So the stash is really cool. You've got your standard grid inventory that you have in Tarkov, as well as many other games. But what I really like about this is that they've actually split this up into five different areas. First, you have your main stash, right? Then you have your four different sort of tabs, each of which, I mean, technically you can store. Oh, no, you can't. Sorry. Never mind. I was messing around with that at one point. I thought you were able to, but neither here nor there. So what you can do is, let's say you want to store the AK-47. You can store it here in this weapon box rather than keeping it in your uh, quote unquote main stash. And this works for ammunition. Uh, gear, so this, these sorts of things, and medical. Now, please keep in mind that there a lot of this is very, very basic right now. I do not know um, what they are planning. Um, I haven't joined the Discord because I kind of want to just be surprised. But at some point, I will probably join since I do want to know what's going on. Um, what I really like and I really appreciate, they can do the bags within bags. Um, I know it's kind of a dumb thing, but I really like the bags within bags. Um, after the, this is truly just the stash. So there you go. You can open your inventory by holding tab. Um, you can check your ammo by holding R. It shows you right there as well. You can just press tab and it'll actually just show you. Another thing that you should note real quickly is if you come over here to the options menu, if you come here to gameplay, you can actually change the AI difficulty to low, medium, high, or customize it in whatever way you want. There's a huge amount of customization here for what you want with the AI. I'm gonna keep it on uh, the medium level because I'm not good at the game. Uh, although weirdly enough, I'm not the one that died last time Xpat and I played. Now enough of that. Let's get into the actual gameplay here. Currently, they only have one map, which makes sense. Uh, you can see this is split up into four different tabs. You've got your inbox here, which is where you either get uh, told off for not completing your mission on time or, you know, well done as well. This is where you pick up your um, the stuff that you get. So we can just delete those. Next, you have your job board and you have two different types of jobs. You've got contracts here and each one of these has a different faction. So you've got the VLF, UICS and the IGC. And then you also have a success rate uh, and, you know, the success rate of the last eight contracts. So as you can see, my success rate um, sucks. <laughs> Shock and surprise. I know um, as well. There's not many different there's, there's not many different types of jobs right now. You've only got secure in place and sabotage. Um, so I will take well, I only have sabotages. So who do I have good relations with VLF? All right. So we'll take the VLF. Because I'm taking the VLF, I can't take any of the other factions. So by doing the VLF mission, I'm actually going to lose standing with the other factions is my understanding of how it works. Um, but I can also just untrack it. You can see what the rewards are beforehand. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Was that a site? 
inspect. Oh no, that's a flashlight. We're about a flashlight. All right, so I'm going to go and work with the VLF because that's who I've got the most with right now. So they'll give me cash, an MP5 thing, duct tape, a uh, fuel canister, and a Glock. Then you can come over here to the trader, and this is very simple as well for what most traders, when you imagine it is, right? You can buy your ammunition, uh, attachments, gear, medical, and weapons. Also though, keep in mind, you can't buy every type of weapon as you need to have a certain uh, unlock tier with whatever faction, right? Um, Right now, I'm just running the AK-74, and that's just what it is. But enough of me jabbering on. We're going to deploy. So obviously, no map selected because there's only one map, but we you do have to select it. Private session on, arrival time, 1.16 p.m., loadout custom, or you can do the provided one, which is just a standard whatever the game gives you. Uh, we're going to use what I've got. So let's deploy. All right, so this is just your standard game lobby. This is where you can invite friends or so on and so forth. Um, the one thing I will say to the devs, if they are at any point watching this video, you've got to make this more visible. I mean, it, it if you when you're looking around like, OK, how do I start? It's down here and it's all camouflaged. You got to change that. It's got to be it's got to be more noticeable. But again, neither here nor there in that regard. I am not a game dev. This is simply my my thoughts on the matter. Truly, I enjoy this game. This game has the the bones and the meat to be a, a fantastic game in this genre because Tarkov dropped the damn ball. Man, they could have done so much if they had gone and like created a, a single player something with Tarkov. I don't know, right? They they had it and they just refused to. Um, whether because they chose not to or they couldn't neither here nor there on that either um, but this is that first person or that that solo experience that i want i don't have to worry about hackers i don't have to worry about any of that so let's wait for we're waiting for the game here to start and now officially we're in um this is just telling you all the stuff they had recently had an update so things sort of reset themselves okay now here, here's my other huge thing that I'm so happy they have. Oh, whoops. Nope, wrong button. A map. They have a map. I think that was the one thing about Tarkov that I was just always bad with was like knowing where things went. And yeah, yeah, I know. Something, something, get good scrub. I get it. Um, but it is what it is. Also, uh, you can do challenges. And these challenges are not the same as contracts. Uh, you can get them in the same job board area, but you can have multiple challenges rather than um, only one contract. Because I have to drop bombs places, that sounds weird out of context. We need to pick this up, grab some bombs, and off we go. Let's put the gun out. Now, something that's interesting is I don't... I notice that I don't run into a lot of the AI. Oh, Jesus Christ, never mind. I'm gonna say I don't run into a lot of it when I'm on the road, but um clearly I'm an idiot. Alright, where are you? Hey, I might have got one. You, you did not. Although I think I just dropped him. I did drop him. Alright, check the alright, we're doing pretty well. Um, so, ow, uh, so I just took oh health damage because, oh, interesting. Okay. So my armor didn't take any damage there, but my health did good to know. And we quickly loot the body. Uh, we are going to unload that, take the ammo, take that, uh, let's Never mind. Okay. Move on. Um, I wish there was a way that you could unload the mag when the gun is their active gun, but again, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, we'll take both of those for the time being. There is a lean mechanic, which big fan of that. Uh, headshots are insta kills from what I have been able to see, although I'm have terrible aim, so I usually aim for center mass. 
Um, <laughs> that doesn't mean I hit very often, but you know. So use four to bring up your map again. Uh, oh, and I'm like right in the area. Sweet. Okay. So now that I'm in the area, I'm actually going to be looking for locations to place the bombs. And you'll know what they are here in a moment. What is this? I don't know, but I want it because I can sell it. So this is what you're looking for. This little insignia here to place whatever item it is. Um, again, devs, I think you need to make it a little bit more visible, possibly. Um, but I'm not going to complain too much about it. You figure it out in time, right? You just look for it, place it. There you go. And with that, the objective is complete. Sometimes it has you go all the way over here. Sometimes it has you go all the way over here and here. Now this evac opens in four minutes, so I'm not gonna wait for four minutes. That opens in 11, but this one is just always open. So for the sake of the video, as well as not wanting to wait four minutes in the same location, we're gonna show you the map here a little bit more. Uh, I'm also gonna heal. Now that I think about it. Uh, all right, so the map, it's a little wonky. I haven't quite figured out um, if there's a hot key button for meds yet. Um, but, you know, we, <laughs> we'll just figure that out as we go. So this game operates kind of on the same premises as many other uh, extraction looter shooters. And in so far as if you go in and you die, you lose all your gear. Now, the cool thing is though, is that if you're playing with a buddy, you're playing with a friend and they die, they don't instantly die. If you have a, um, an injection, it's like this yellow injection thing, you can actually bring them back, which again, love that i have no issue with realism but at the same time this is a game uh and i would like to be able to play with my friends and not get absolutely one tapped by an ai and then have to wait for the next 10 minutes uh, sadly when x pilot and i played uh we did not have that. well who am i to say no to committing some murder Let's come over here. Actually, I don't think it's I don't think it's murder. I think this is a war zone and it works a little differently. So this is one of the military bases and this place is always crawling with uh, with baddies. You saw one there. I like the fact that they just talk. Yep. Headshot and he's down. I think I got uh, Ow. Oh man. No, oh, that hurt. I don't have to be here, of course. I'm just doing this for uh Shit. why am I jumping? For the video's sake. Oh. <laughs> Killed him on the last bullet. Let's that up. Ooh, hi! the body uh something to note and to keep in mind is that you can't have two primaries you have a primary a secondary and then in your holster so just keep a note of that so far there's not a lot to loot in general um there's there's not a lot of stuff to loot. Um, you can make some pretty decent money off of just taking their guns and uh, doing that. But that there, that over there. So do keep that in mind if you're like wanting to go in for a long raid to find all the loot that you can. Admittedly, there's not a lot to pick up yet. I imagine they will be adding a lot of stuff moving forward. Uh, I do need the fuel can, though. So the fuel can I need for one of my challenges. See? Sell to vendor. And I'll show you how to do that here 
assuming I actually make it out alive. Um, where am I? All right, we need to go up here. I am incredibly directionally challenged, like so much so that I will get lost using Google Maps in real life. It's not great. Um, and so having a map in a game like this is really oh shoot 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 boop i love the ragdoll love it love it love it what is that that's a cool looking oh it's sort of it's the same gun just a different gotcha never mind i'm there Okay, so just as a heads up, I keep holding um, to open. You just need to tap it. So that's that's my fault. If you hold it, then it does the whole like, ooh, go in, go out. Don't do that. Just tap the inventory button. It is tab by default. I keep it on tab. So let's see. Over up here. Here. Did I see a feller? I don't know if I did or not. So what I was going to say before I was interrupted a while ago is that I usually don't see too many trolling AI, but uh, just in this one run, I have been proven otherwise. So, disregard that statement. My understanding is, much like most games like this, the evacs are all in the same... Okay. Does not blow up, apparently. Good to know. Um, I feel like we should be able to blow that up. Not for any particular reason outside of the fact of destruction. Let's see. Oh, I heard more talking. All right, so I need to just keep working my way over. Uh, he saw me, but I got him first. Now. Okay, so there is play there. I keep saying players. It's not players. It's just AI. Surprise. Now they can overrun you. Um, I don't know if it changed. Oh, that's a hard drive. I'll take that. Um, I don't know if uh, they they like increase the amount of AI that are on the map based on how many players there are. Uh, if they do, that's awesome. If they don't, they should. But X-Pilot and I got absolutely overrun uh, right here when we were playing. Contact. And we might get overrun again. I see you. Surprise. Shit, oh, all right. I guess that did not. What do you got for me? Anything? Not really. Um, so the only second, I don't know if it's the only secondary, the only secondary I have found are MP5s. That doesn't mean that they are the only ones. That's all I, oh, that's a new helmet. Yes, please. I will take that. There is also currently, as it stands, no way to repair gear. Um, so if like one of your gear is destroyed for whatever reason. Right. So this is at 100. This is at 105. OK, so these are fine. But if they're ever broken, you can't repair them yet. So the best thing to do is sell them and just buy a new one. 
And there you go. That is a standard run as it stands right now in Incursion Red River. So we just come over here. You can go over here to the inbox here. See, uh, incredible, your actions have effectively crippled the UICS's operational capabilities. Don't really care about it. I just want my rewards. And then impressive survival skills you've extracted three times without a scratch. I know because I'm awesome. Once you get those rewards, you can just get rid of your terminal. If you want to sell something, you cannot sell it at the terminal. You need to come to your actual stash. Excuse me. Uh, right click and then sell. And that is how you actually sell the items. Um, same. So with the hard drive, I don't know what nails sell sell. As I said, I haven't seen anything so far that has required like to build anything. You don't need any of the bootable stuff. Anything that you need to find, you will get here in your challenges, right? This is where it'll be like, you need to find three prepped meals or kill with a headshot. Wait, really? Can I just track that? And then do I just have it? No? Okay. That's an interesting little bug. Good to know. Um, sell fuel to vendor vendors. That's what I'm doing right now. Sell five fuels to vendors. I guess I could do two of those. I don't see why not, right? Uh, but you can only have three tracked at a time. This is prepped meals and kills with a shotgun. Now, that's actually something I would want to do because it would be interesting. I haven't played with the shotguns yet. Uh, that being said, though, this is where the game is at right now. There's not a lot, but what there is is a great and fantastic foundation. So to the devs, well done. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next steps are. Um, if there's any major updates, I will hopefully get around to doing a video on that. Like as well, I need to do that for Witchfire because they just came out with a massive update, but we'll get around to that at a different time. In any case, though, I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you all very much for watching. The link to buy this game, the Steam link, is in the description below. Um, so with that, thank you all for watching. My name is In the Sun of Morning. You have all been absolutely fantastic, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.